guys so today I'm filming two videos um, this is a Lush haul and the other video is going to be a mascaras video about which ones I like and dislike um, which was meant to be up like two days ago but I've been ha having trouble with it so I'm refilming it now and it'll go up either after this video or tomorrow or whenever I feel like it basically because I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to film about after these ones. But before I get started, if you like my look that I've done on my eyes, please let me know. And if I get enough requests for it, I might do a tutorial on it. It's just something I tried today. So I'm really excited about it. And I've straightened my hair, which I said I would do, which is kind of more beachy straight because no lie, there's so much sand in my hair right now. I live like 30 seconds away from the beach, so that's why. Also, I want to talk about this new um, nail polish I got by Revlon called Vixen Number no. 63 and I'm wearing it and it's chipped because I didn't put another coat on, like a, a, a top coat with clear nail polish and my nails are short because I'm growing them right now. So that's that and I bought it so, to encourage me to do my nails again. Now, guess who arrived this morning? Postman with my Lush package. I ordered on Tuesday night and he came now Friday morning at 8.30 in the morning and he was like, oh sorry for waking you up and I'm like, don't be sorry because I'm really excited about this package, which I am. Now first, let me show you how it's packaged. Look at all of that shredded paper. Yes. Mm. Terrible, 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 terrible. It makes a mess of my house. So there's all the Lush products. I'll go through with them. Um, some of them I bought for my mum. <clears throat> so I won't be able to review them for you but I'll try and get her to let me know what she thinks of them and after Mother's Day which is on May 10th. So probably I'll review the other ones then. The first thing I got for her was a soap in I Should Coco. And it says the all-time world conquering something coconutty of all coconut soaps. I think it's meant to say first, but it's like one zero ST, so tensed. Hmm. Anyway, it's so nice. It smells like nutty and coconutty at the same time, like, and it has all the coconut, like shredded coconut on top, but it is coconutty. And yeah, I think it's like almost almondy or yeah, but it's good and I hope she likes that. She's a big fan of coconut. That is why I got that one for her. And look at all these bits of coconut falling off. Put it back in there. Um, I also got her and myself this. Honey, I washed the kids. These are all 100 grams, by the way. I'd never tried Lush before, so I just got the small ones and I'll probably get big ones next time if I like it. So that's Honey, I washed the kids. Now, I've seen so many different videos describing what they think it smells like. Not honey, caramel, sweet, milky, I don't know. I guess we'll discover when I use it a little bit more that it doesn't smell like honey. And of course it smells soapy, they all smell like standard soap at the same time. Um, so that's that one. Rockstar soap for myself, which I had to get, there's so many reviews about it. Okay, now people describe it as like creaming soda. So I'm going to smell it now. Definitely. It has that instant hit of like bubbles to it. Like, you know, when you drink too much bubbles and it goes into your nose sometimes. That's the kind of feeling I get when I smell this soap. And definitely like creaming soda. Definitely something like, yeah, red, you know, like cherries or not strawberries. But it smells, yeah, like creaming soda. That's the, yeah, that is the best description for it. So I'm really excited to use that one. I also got porridge soap for myself. My mum wouldn't like it because she doesn't like porridge, so I didn't get it for her. And it smells like, it definitely smells like oats. You know, like apple muffins, right? Because it's kind of apple-y. But apple and oat muffins? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It smells like that. So that's the chunk. They're all 100 grams. And it is like kind of 
rough. I've heard it's going to be good for exfoliating. I've also heard it won't be good for it. But I'll let you know. I was going to hopefully use it as an exfoliator, but... I don't know. It's nice, though. It's nice. Actually, I really like the smell of this one. It's subtle, but... Not subtle. Like, there's a definite smell there, but not as powerful as the other ones. Not, like, in your face, like the rock stuff, for example. Okay. So, also for my mum, I got her a bath melt or a buttercream in skinny dip which is meant to be cocoa butter coconut cream and aloe vera so if I show you it it's just a block like that skinny dip and that smells I don't like it I really don't like the smell of it um it's really creamy I guess it's meant to be like butter and seriously it it looks slash feels like butter and if I look at the ingredients it's not very coconutty. It's more soapy than anything. I don't know. We'll see what my mum says. I hope she likes it because, you know, it's not as coconutty as I hoped it would be. Now, my mum is a massage bar kind of girl. She loves massages. So, I got her a massage bar in the Mange 2 massage bar. And they describe it as honey and white chocolate. This smells like my cocoa butter. You know, Palmer's cocoa butter. It smells like that, but with extra hints. Not honey. Perhaps white chocolate. Something. There's something about it, but it's great and it's so smooth. Like I can feel it running down my hands right now. Sorry, mum. And that feels like it's gonna melt. I think I'm gonna keep that in the fridge until May 10th when it's Mother's Day and it's time to give it to her. Just like her skinny dip one. I'll probably keep all of hers in the fridge to be honest. So that's what I got from Lush. I'm so excited to use them. My nose is like really irritated now from all the spelling and yeah. Um, probably I'll give a review of the ones that I am going to use within the next couple of weeks. Give me a chance to use them and then I'll ask my mum what she thinks of the, her ones after Mother's Day which is on May 10th. So I'll give her a couple of weeks to try them out and then I'll try and do a review on the ones that she got as well. So, that's my Lush haul. I'm so excited. If they're really good, I might actually make a trip, which is like an hour on the train away to my nearest Lush and buy more of them, of my favorite ones. In like, Because you can't order like 200 gram chunks. You can only order like 100 grams. Then you have to buy like two. So this is like two, honey, I wash the kids. And like, what if I wanted them as one? So I might go to an actual Lush store. And I'm thinking of also getting their hair treatment masks as well. So I don't know when that will be because I don't know when I'll be bothered to go to Brisbane, which is the city where it's in because I live on the Gold Coast. And I think you know that if you look at my blog and the sidebar on my channel. So please subscribe, please comment, please rate, let me know what you think and recommend some soaps for me or any products by Lush. Thanks, guys.